you so much for joining my channel. I've seen so many of you subscribe and like and comment and I'm so glad you're here. I wanted to do a beginner's makeup. I'm using All French Face Deep Chestnut for my Brontour. Highlighter is Fair Peach. And then the Skin Tone Concealer is Light Medium Beige. It could be easier for you to follow along with a face chart, something that's printed out. Email us at questions at maxinesrevenge.com and ask for a face chart. I already have a color match for French face. Super. If you'd like one, you go to the same email address, questions at maxinesrevenge.com. Start with our brows. A little bit of setting powder just to make sure there's no oils. If you have oils from lotions or sunscreens, it's hard for the liner or powder to stick. Pull this direction and then I pull the opposite direction here to soften these beginning parts of the brow. Go darker on the outer bits, bringing mine in a little bit closer together than they naturally are, which might be more than a beginner's move. I think it makes my nose look more narrow. Pick your Brontour shade. This is a darker concealer. You will put in contour locations along the hairline, the upper cheekbones, your nose, if you're trying to make it look smaller, at least put it on the bridge of your nose, and around your lips right here, a dot right underneath your brow in this little forgotten zone. You can even do a dot there and there. A line there and there and if you have a little jowl there and there underneath the ear here on the neck if you want to highlight your jaw this is deep chestnut from French face if you're a beginner I recommend a beauty sponge because it's very affordable and it will soften so you don't have to be too precise just bounce, bounce, bounce. When you do feel more confident, get some brushes from Crystal Lee Cosmetics. They're really good. Also, you'll notice that French face is blending really easily. It was designed like that. It's very thin. It's a base of hydration. So 69% of the formula is like a moisturizer. The three fundamental ingredients for a moisturizer are humectants, which pull moisture to the top of the skin, emollients which smooth the top of the skin and occlusives which are like balms very thin and they hold in the moisture so that's the base and then there's 24 percent floating coated pigment so it's meant to float and blend easily that's what you're seeing here in summer we're wearing so many tank tops that we want our neck to look a little tan along with the tops of our shoulders Bounce, bounce, bounce. It's okay if it's not precise. That's why I like starting with the darker one first. We're gonna cover up some of the areas that are a little messy. I like using a smaller brush for the finer sections like the nose. Now contouring might just feel well beyond your skill set. No problem if you don't do this. However, if you want to thin out your nose like I do, one of the keys is getting up right in here. So there's almost a line from the brow down to the tip of your nose. This is where a fine brush with great fibers like Crystal Lee brushes comes in handy. This is 03. 03. I would get that one for sure as a starter. I believe it's 13 or $15. Connect these together. We'll just continue down here. That's above my crease because my actual crease is in there. I'm just going above it from this dot to this dot, connecting the dots, and I'm making it a bigger loop than my actual eye socket. With Fair Peach, I'm going to highlight. So this is the darkest part of my face. I'm going to put a little swipe there. You could do a couple of dots if you don't want to be too heavy handed. A little swipe here this little triangle on the outer portion of my nostrils, the very tip of the nose. That'll do it. You're going to tap, tap, tap. Even though it looks crazy and it, you think you're going to have to do a lot of swiping for this kind of makeup, you really don't. That's why it's actually easy for beginners. As crazy as we look while we're doing it, 
it actually is easy because you're just dotting and pressing. So press, press, press until you're underneath the pupil, then up here, dot, and you just keep pressing down to underneath the pupil. You're actually pulling that product underneath there, but because you're deposited the products here and here, the majority of it is going to be on those places, and then you're creating like an ombre, a really soft effect here, which I, I re recognize is hard to see, but you are. You'll see, you'll have a lot more out here, and then tap, tap, tap underneath the eyeball. You're still getting some product there. You're not adding a lot of texture and weight to that delicate, thin eye area. With your finger or with a smaller brush, grab some of this as you're tapping and then bring it underneath your brow there. So tap it into the zone where you have placed a lot and then right underneath your brow bone. You can certainly swipe this along the lid if you want to lighten some of that redness. Now your skin tone concealer or what you might consider your foundation. You can use French face for all of this or if you have a foundation you can put it on now. I just happen to like using French face because you don't need a lot and all of the formulas blend together beautifully and they just look the most natural that way. Do you use setting sprays? If not, you don't need to do this step. I just like the way it looks, but you don't need to. I'm gonna use some setting spray on my Crystal Lee brush and now I'm blending in those dots, the same method, the tap, tap, tap method. You need a face chart to know where to put all the dots. And you can put, print it out and put it in your bathroom. Just email us questions at maxinesrevenge.com and we'll send that to you. You're just tapping, so you don't need any really fancy technique here. It blends really easily. You can see all it takes is tap, tap, tap. You can't screw it up. If you go all over where you put the contour color, that's okay, that's why we put so much still show through it'll just be more natural a little bit of light medium beige my skin tone concealer on the back of my hand and a brush or a beauty sponge we're going to prime the brush that's something that makeup artist katie jane hughes talks about so i want to credit her for that i'm tapping that on top of these darker lines almost like i'm erasing them but i'm not i'm softening them they're still there okay tap 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 as long as you can tap, 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 you can do this technique. Just tap it out to soften it. If you find that too difficult, no problem. Use the sponge. You can hit a bigger surface area and that is no problem. It'll soften the whole thing as well. This is a good time to add your powder if you use powder. That will soften some of the lines as well. This is another step in blending all of that together. So it's okay if you've blend it in your skin tone concealer and you still see some lines because if you're a powder user that's actually going to mute out some of those lines as well. This is where I just take a look and I see did I get the colors right. So I want my arm to look like it belongs to the face. I'm a little bit lighter here than I am on my body so I'd probably take a little bit more of the deep chestnut and brighten up my cheek. We're talking a dot with a finger and then right on the face here. You can just blend it out with your fingers. There's a lot of blending, that's pretty much it. It's either tap, tap, tap with a brush or a sponge, but that's the trick. As long as you dot more or less in place, higher up for your brontor than you would think, you're, you're good. Up, you are actually blending it all together. Mascara, I've been using red. You can start in the middle and squish it around if you don't want a really made up look like a makeout mouth I'm gonna go ahead and line pretty bright I like putting this shimmery soft gold on top this is Katie Jane Hughes I just put it in the middle I have some on my finger now I have a little bit of shimmery blush. I tend to go high, you go where you want to go, and up here for my bones, and then I like to bring it down here. 
Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that was helpful. Please leave any comments, questions below. Like and subscribe, it really does help get the video out to more people. If you want a face chart, something that's printable, email us at questions at maxinesrevenge.com. If you already have your French face colors, great. If not and you want a color match, email us same email questions at maxinesrevenge.com tell us what you're using now for brightening your under eye brand and shade and what you're using for your overall skin tone which you might be using as a foundation a powder or something what brand and what shade because we'll look those up online to actually see with our own eyes what they are what the colors are also send us a selfie we will look at all of that make a suggestion for which french face shades would work well with you also, I'm gonna do a masterclass at some point in August, so stay tuned for that. I'll start announcing that this week. It's free, of course. I think it'd be fun to do a Zoom where we can go through this look and just get more comfortable using a concealer concentrate like French Face. If you don't have French Face, it can be another one. But just to show you how you can get by with just a couple of different shades, carry around in your bag, travel with it, be a little bit of a minimalist for a while, and just share that community together. So stay tuned for that.